So in September 2022, we saw a huge release from Titleist, the TSR lineup, and they were fantastic. We saw some incredible results, great looking golf club, great feeling golf club, fantastic numbers. We've obviously seen some big launches now in January 2023 for this season, and one of the big launches again, Callaway Paradigm. Two big drivers, we're gonna put these head to head in this video and see which one is the winner. So we're gonna start off with Paradigm. So three shots for this, three with the Titleist, back into the Paradigm, back into the Titleist to try and keep this as even as we can. We've got exactly the same shaft, length, everything like that, both nine degree heads. I've got the standard Paradigm up against the TSR3. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, TSR3 isn't probably aligned with the standard Paradigm. But if you imagine that the triple diamond Paradigm is probably gonna be aligned with the TSR4, the low spin, more compact head. And then probably the TSR2 would probably be more aligned to the Paradigm X, which is more of a stretch back body, a little bit higher launches. So this is probably as close as we're gonna get between these two drivers. Now, an interesting one in this video as well is the Paradigm is pretty much, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but probably a good high 80% of carbon in this driver. Titleist has 0% of carbon, full titanium. Everything's going carbon, Titleist is staying in that titanium, be an interesting result. So we're gonna start off with the Paradigm. So nine degree head, as we mentioned. Okay, bit off the toe on that first strike, but it's done very well, it's nice and straight. We'll take that one. So we club head speed just short of 112, ball speed around that 160, a little bit higher launch, a little bit lower spin, maybe not quite the flushed of strikes there. But again, that stability, and this is what the Paradigm is all sort of about. You know, we've got this movable weight track at the back. I've got that set central, but we can move that heel and toe, but some weight in that back section helping with that stability, maybe on those miss hits like that. So as I mentioned, huge hype with the launch from the Paradigm, hasn't there? You know, lots of social media content of the launch, much bigger launch than we saw than the previous Rogue ST. I think Stealth took the headlines last year in terms of the launch. Pulled it a little bit up that left-hand side on that shot. 112 club head, 164, just that slightly shutting that face down a touch. So in my review video of the Paradigm, I really enjoyed hitting the standard one, this one we've got in our hands now. You know, the looks of it is pretty good. You know, it's a pretty large footprint down there, navy. It sits pretty nice and square. I think the feel of it is nice. The sound of it is pretty good. It wasn't quite as dull as I was expecting it to be in the sound, you know, with as much carbon that it's got in it. but it's still a good positive crack to it. That was a nice ball flight. Okay, so three shots, let's switch over TSR3. So we've got that movable track, like we see in the paradigm there, of that weight. Again, I've got the set in the center, but you can put this heel and toe, so we've got that adjustability. Next sleeve, as we, as we know. Nine degree head, same as paradigm there, same shaft, same length, and very different look down by the golf ball. A lot more of that classic Titleist look, and they don't really venture too much in terms of the shape, do they, Titleist? Very clean, gloss black top, no graphic, no other colorings on there, just the TSR logos and alignment aid, blacked out face. It looks superb. It sits beautiful, lovely pear shape to it. Bit more squat on the head. It's still a 460cc, same as Paradigm, but just shaped a little bit more in a compact looking shape. Okay, nice solid hit. Good ball flight, 111.4. So looking to be a similar club head speed as we're gonna expect. Good ball speed there, just short 165. Nice carry number up to 278. Now, as we mentioned before, Titleist is full titanium. Not a single bit of carbon in this, which is interesting as more and more new driver launches now are going on carbon, putting more and more carbon in there, saving more discretion weight, moving that around. And they're all saying this is around forgiveness, stability, extra ball speed. But tell you what, Titleist still packs a massive punch. You know, look at that ball speed there, 165. I think that's been the quickest so far. Interesting to look at these numbers later. Ah, that wasn't perfect. That might just climb a little bit on, I tell you what, look at that ball speed. That was a touch low toe. Okay, yeah, I felt that. Launched a bit low, might spin up a little bit more. Yeah, so just spun up a little bit with that strike, but a good ball speed on that miss hit. And that is definitely something I found in my review videos, and I found it since fitting, you know, club golfers in Titleist products, whether it's TSR 2, 3, the 4. If you look at that smash factor there, 149 on a miss hit, and that's what we've definitely seen, some really good ball speed around that sweet spot, which is fantastic. You know, if we can get that ball speed up on those miss hits, which is a lot of what these brands are all trying to do, aren't they? A little bit of left to right shaping on that. 
Again, not, not the perfect stride. It wasn't a bad stride, but not perfect. But 166 from the same sort of club head speed. 148 smash, mega, mega efficient. Okay, so back into the paradigm. Three more shots. That's just got a little bit of a peel on that. Okay, so there's that slight low strike. 163.7, little bit quicker club head speed, but not quite as much of that ball speed there in comparison to that tire. So gonna look at those deets, numbers a bit more detail there. See that smash just dropping a little bit. Maybe advantage tight list up to now. It's a good strike. Let's get that little left to right there. Don't mind that shape to be honest. Just maybe got to allow for it a touch more. Very similar strike pattern there again. Just think when we look at these two drivers side by side, and, and this is my personal views on this, obviously the, the tight list is a little bit more compact. And for me, it's a better looking golf club. Bit cleaner, beautiful shape, touch more compact, compact. I prefer that. Sits incredibly square. Paradigm does sit very square. Obviously just a little bit more stretched back in that head design. Obviously you've got the triple diamond if you want more of that squat look, don't we? But I think the Paradigm's a good looking driver. It's just a little bit different to the tight list. Ah, that's a good hit. Ah, that's a good hit. Good ball flight. Felt very solid. Okay, let's switch back into the TSR3. Oh, that's crunched. That feels so good. I've got to say that is a better sounding golf club. Even though it's full titanium, we've got tons of carbon in that one. It's that club speed a little bit quicker on that one, but then some good ball speed return there. Sort of perfect numbers for me there. Get that launch up and around that 11 mark. You see that just unlocks that little bit more carry. Get my spin control, extra ball speed. Again, smash 148. I say full titanium there, yet yeah, that's most of the carbon. I expect that to be more muted, more duller. Sometimes we see with these carbon drivers, but I think that's a better sounding golf. It's really great sound. And I did say that in my review video as well. Post your comments down below. If you've got a TSR, whether it's a two, three or a four, Love to hear what you find with it and how that went in testing and what you put it up against. It's an interesting one now as these new releases come in. Obviously, this is only just relatively new into TSR. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That was a little bit lower in the club face. Yeah, could feel that. Ball speed still very, very good. And again, look at that smash, 149 from the low strike. It does extremely well in those miss hits. Okay, so final three shots with Paradigm. Okay, there's the final shot hit with the Paradigm. That was a nice one to finish up on. Let's hit the last three, TSR three, and then we'll go and check some numbers out between these two drivers. Yeah, felt a touch low, but again, the numbers are pretty impressive from that strike. Right, so quickly look at some dispersion numbers to kick things off. So the white is a paradigm, the orange is the TSR3. So we can see the lots of the longest hits there, and we've got a few there, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, even that one there, six that were longer than any of the paradigm drivers in there. Dispersion wise, left to right. Bit tight, tighter with the tight list there. I just had that one up the left hand side, but all the others were just favoring that little bit of cut up the right. Where the Paradigm, I did have that little bit of a two way miss, a couple up the right, then a few up that left hand side. And then looking in numbers, club head speed, absolutely identical around that 112 as an average, but you see the ball speed 165, seven against 162, eight. So definitely some more ball speed with TSR3. And that then makes a huge difference obviously to the smash. You see averaging at 1.48, fantastic. That's, that's exactly where I wanna be. That's me pretty much maxed out. And you'll notice through those shots, there were some not perfect strikes there. Some slightly low, slightly heel, slightly toe just dotting around there as you're going to expect you know we're going to see that but as i mentioned we see some great results on miss hits with the tightest you know you look at my worst one there at 148 the others are like 148 149s in there fantastic look at the callaway getting very very similar sort of strike patterns to be honest and just in and around that sort of center area but you see my smash at 145 just drops off a little bit more so it's good six yards difference of the carry there interesting one there full titanium for me outdoes that pretty much full carbon in the Callaway there. Post comments down, let me know your thoughts and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.